Welcome to the Royal Calcutta Turf Club for the Calcutta Races Monsoon Meeting 8 day Tuesday 17 September 2024 race preview the first race of the afternoon is the Super Sunrise Handicap for horses rate 126 to be run over a distance of 2000 meters we got four runners going to post for this one the first time we got a couple of runners Banksy and Primo Victoria this is from race number 27 where this was Banksy's second start of the monsoon season first up finished on 8th in race number 14 this race, Bansi was in 10th spot, made a couple of placings and eventually finished on 6th of 10 runners. And we had Primo Victoria who was in a favoured position as they entered the home straight then drifted out on the outside track of the track and finished on 4th. And uh, after the race, it was of dub that uh, Primo Victoria was trotting lame. The winner here was Aero Poli. Couple of runners again, George Everest, Sunflare. George Everest has had three starts so far in this season. Race number four finished on eighth, race number 20 finished on seventh. The last start, George Everest was mostly in fourth spot, then not dropped back a placing and finished on fifth. Sunflare, who's had the four stars as well, best start was in race number 21, and this race, uh, t race number 21, finished on second. Over here, after racing in sixth spot at the turn, finished on uh, eye catching second. It was a a little slowly out of the gates as well. The winner here was the Retha. We move on to the second race of the year after the Faith Cup for horses rate 21 to 86, rate 41 to 66 eligible to be run over a distance of about 2000 meters. We got six runners going to purse for this one. First up, we got two runners from race number 38, Stormy Ocean and White Roses, who, was both, who were both running after a break. The first start in their monsoon season this time and Stormy Ocean who was installed the favorite was in second spot and came up with a run and eventually just fell short by the closest possible margin of a nose to sea line. White Roses who was in fifth spot made some lead gains down the center and eventually finished on on board fourth and as I said the winner was sea line by a probable whisker. Three runners going up against each other again from race number 29. We had Dandi Satagraha, we had Dragon's Gold and Tiger Mountain. Dandi Satagraha's second run of the season both time has had finished on third. Dragon's Gold who was winner of an earlier start in race number 6 over here. Dragon's Gold was in second spot seen uh, battling uh, on but then came up with a run into the dying stages of the race where Sea Lion practically came to a halt and Dragon's Gold won the race and Tiger Mountain who was racing in third spot eventually fell back and finished on fifth. Number six is Ivano. Ivano had a decent uh, winter season where had a couple of place efforts in this season in race number 42. Was in 10th spot as they entered the home straight then started to make some late gains and eventually finished on sixth. Was Ivano. The winner here was King's Retreat who won the race hard held by about five lengths. Moving on to the third race of the year after the Replicate Handicap Division 1 for horses rate 21 to 46, rate 126 eligible to be run over a distance of about 1200 meters. Six runners are taking on each other from race number 37. We had Caitlin who had a runaway lead into the home straight then caught, got caught up very close home by a long neck by Saranaika. Cristaldo was winner of a couple of stars already in the season over here. Cristaldo was in a forward position but dropped back. Eventually finished on 10th of 12 runners. We had Dubai Station who was the, having a first start in the season. Was Dubai Station was in 10th spot then dropped back and finished on last of 12 runners. We had number 6 was Sea Salt Caramel. Couple of starts for Sea Salt Caramel. Both times unplaced. We had number 7 is Stitch in Time. Stitch in Time was in 4th spot. Made up a placing and eventually got into the place money in 3rd. And finally Angel Light who was having the first start in the season. And Angel Light after travelling in 12th spot for most while eventually finished on 9th of 12 runners. Number four is Tender Heart. Couple of starts for Tender Heart before in this race, where Tender Heart was installed the favorite and then went on a start to finish mission. Drifted out on the outer rail, but uh, still had a margin of almost six and a half lengths and beat uh, Sunfair in second. Today, the mount of Mohit Singh is Tender Heart. Number 5 Indian Tiger, 3 starts for Indian Tiger in the monsoon season so far, unplaced in each of his 3 starts. Last start as usual went on a start to finish mission but this time into the last 300 meters started really back paddle, eventually finished on 6th of 10 runners. The winner here was King Street Street who won the race by about 5 lengths and uh, 
Indian Tiger finished on 6th. Number 8 is Sparkle and Shine. Couple of stars for Sparkle and Shine. First up in race number 151. This is from the winter season where Sparkle and Shine, after finishing on 5th in race number 151, the start in 163 was in 4th spot, then took charge into the last 150 meters. Eventually had almost 3 parts of a length to spare on the second finishing Baldwin of Charm. And after the race, it was observed that Sparkle and Shine was trotting lame. Number 10 is Zarafat, came down from Western India, had a start in race number 18 where Zarafat was in 3rd spot for most while, then into the last 300 meters, started to really run out of gas, eventually finished on last of 8 runners. The winner here was Felix, who eventually got the race by length and a quarter. Number 11 is Magnite. Three starts for Magnite. First up in race number 1, finished on 7th. Race number 21, finished on 6th. Last start, Magnite was in 4th spot. As you can see, towards the inside and the yellow and black chevrons came up and eventually finished on 3rd. The winner here was Lightning Charlie who got the race by 7.5 lengths. We move on to the 4th race of the year after the Replicate Handicap Division 2. 4 horses rate 21 to 46, rate 1 to 26 eligible to be run over a distance of about 1200 meters. Couple of runners from race number 24, Extravagant Star and Over the Line, Extravagant Star's uh, second start of the season. And what a start this was, Extravagant Star was in handy third, then took charge between runners and got over the field and eventually had about three lengths to spare. Over the line, who was in second spot into the last 200 meters, then uh, started to gradually drop back, eventually finished on fifth. We got again a couple of runners into the storm and UV into the storm has placed in couple of stars in the season race number 4, finished on 2nd over here into the storm after being in 2nd spot, dropped back 1 placing and eventually finished on 3rd. UV was at couple of stars, earlier start finished on 9th and race number 4 over here, UV was in 7th spot, made some late gains and eventually finished on 5th and it was noted after the race that UV was trotting lame. Number 5 is Royal Rider, the Mount of Peace Surya. Couple of stars for Royal Rider. Race number 7 finished turn 3rd. Race number 37 was slowly out of the gates, took the turn in 8th spot. Made up couple of placings towards the rear end of the race and eventually finished on 6th of 12 runners. The winner here was Sarah Naika, who got the race by a long neck. Number 8 is Impermanence. Impermanence uh, was scheduled to start a couple of times, was withdrawn each time. And the start we are looking at is from the winter season where Impermanence had a couple of placed efforts in earlier part of the season over here and raced number 140, was in 4th spot as they entered the home straight, then started to gradually drop back, eventually finished on 13th. The winner here was DRD. Number 9 is Flamingo Road. The start is from the winter season where Flamingo Road was winner of a race in race to Maharan 10 over here and race to Maharan 84 was in third spot as the race came to a ball and eventually Flamingo Road just missed out on the place money finished on fourth. The winner here was Extravagant Star. Flamingo Road today the amount of P Udai Kiran. Number 10 is Eagles Flight. Eagles Flight has had a couple of stars in the season. Race number 8 finished turn 7 behind War Trail. Race number 36, the one we are looking at, was in third spot for most while. And when asked for an effort, did not have much to offer. In fact, I would drop back. Eventually finished on 7th of 10 runners. The winner here was Lightning Charlie, who won the race by 7.5 lengths. Moving on to the 5th race of the year after the Hokkaido Handicap, 4 horses rate 41 to 66, rate 21 to 46, eligible to be run over a distance of about 1400 meters. First we got a couple of runners, Dubai Gold and uh, wonderful Dubai Gold who's had one start in the season in race number 42, 
was in 6th spot as they entered the home straight then started to drop back and eventually finished on 9th and then we had uh, Wonderful who was winner of an earlier start in race number 23 where it went over 1400 meters over here Wonderful was in 4th spot then came up with a late dash and eventually finished on 2nd the winner was King's Retreat who won the race by almost 5 lengths Number 3 is Burmese. Burmese has had a couple of stars in the season. First up in race number 12, finished on 5th. Over here in race number 30, was a little slowly out of the gates. Then was in 2nd spot into the home straight. Then dropped back into the last 100 meters and eventually finished on 3rd of 6th uh, runners. The winner here was True Faith who got the race by about half a length. Number 4 is Rafaelo. Rafaelo has had a couple of stars in the season. First up in race number 16, finished on second to Global Influence. Race number 31 was in third spot, then uh, eventually made up a placing and eventually finished on second. And uh, it was noted after the race that uh, Rafaelo burst a blood vessel. Three runners, this is from race number 41. We had Fancy Nancy, we had Star Justice and uh, Multi Star. Fancy Nancy, definitely your eye catcher. Racing in third spot for most while, came up with a late dash and eventually beat K Star by a long neck. We had number six was Star Justice, who was racing in six spots, stayed on in six. Number nine was Multi Star, who was racing in eighth spot, then uh, into the last 200 meters, dropped back and eventually finished on 10th of 10. The amount of Arman Khan is the multi star Fancy Nancy ran by Suraj Narid with Star Justice by Mohammed Samir. Number 8 is Felix. Felix has had one solitary start in the season. And what a start it was in race number 18. Was in 6th spot and got a passage down the center and eventually took charge into the last 100 meters and uh, beat Bybury into second by almost length and a quarter. Today, the amount of RS Bhatti is Felix. Number 10 is Amal Fitana, has had a couple of stars in the season, both unplaced in race number 37, finished on 7th, the race number 46, the one we are looking at was in 6th spot at the end of the home straight and eventually finished on 6th, the winner here was Norwegian Wood who eventually got the race by a length and a half. Number 11 is Vanelia. Vanelia has had a couple of stars after coming down from Southern India. Race number 10 went over 1200 meters, finished on second to Cristaldo. Race number 35 went over 2000 meters, was in fifth spot when asked for an effort, made up a placing and eventually finished on fourth. The winner here was Naumetsi. Vanelia again ridden by Hindu Singh today. So we move on to the second classic of the monsoon season, the HPSL Calcutta Coles Trial Stakes for Indian Coles and Gelding, 3-year-old only, to be run over a distance of about 1400 meters. First up, we got Champagne Supernova, and what a start this was for Champagne Supernova in race number 33, was in 7th spot, and came out with a run down the center, eventually had about 3 parts of a length to share, spare over, no worry. Again, the amount of Yashnari do and uh, Champagne Supernova trained by Asha Doctor. Number 3 is Global Influence. The amount of uh, Suraj Naridu. Global Influence has already won 3 races in Calcutta, including the last start where it went over 1400 meters. Was on a start to finish mission and everything uh, kept on galloping ahead. Eventually, had a distance to spare. Over second finishing uh, Rafaelo, the charge of Rajesh Naridu is global influence. Light Fantastic is your third runner in Light Fantastic. What a start this was for Light Fantastic in race number 39. Went over 1400 meters, was handy third. Then weaved a passage towards the inside and got the measure of the on money favorite Light Fantastic. In the charge of uh, Vijay Singh is Light Fantastic. And finally, we got Rankalino who's coming down from southern India. Rankalino, what a ding dong battle with Masato and just missed out by a shot at the Mount of Akshay Kumar is Rankalino from the yard of Darais Baramji. 
So that's your four runners for the HPSL Calcutta Coles Trial Stakes 2024. Moving on to the seventh and final race of the day, the Arezzo Handicap for horses weigh 21 to 46, grade 1 to 26, eligible to be run over a distance of about 1400 meters. We got number one, Joel of it, who's had a few stars in the season already, had a placed effort in race number 39, where finished on third of seven runners. Last start was in race number 41, where it was in ninth spot as they entered the home straight, stayed on in ninth. Eventually, the winner was Fancy Nancy, Joel of it, today, written by Nikhil Naidu. She's our star, Byberry. This is from race number 18. She's our star was leading the pack but then ran out of gas, eventually finished on 6. Byberry was in 4th spot then came up with a run and uh, looked good for a while but there was a late surge by Felix and all Byberry could do was did the next best thing, finish on 2nd again the mount of J.H.R. role. Number 4 is Power Racer. Power Racer had a decent winter season where won a race and placed a couple of times over here. This was the first start in the monsoon season in race number 9 where Power Racer was in 6th spot at the end of the home straight, made up a placing and eventually finished on 5th. The winner here was Namitsi Power Racer today the Mount of P Surya. Number 5 is Main Street. Main Street is a smuggler's cove out of Mykonos and what a start this was for Main Street in race number 17 was in 2nd spot then started to accelerate and eventually beat Satyavur by almost 2 and a quarter length and Satyavur has subsequently won so that's a very strong form line, up, form line for our Main Street who has been ridden by Yash Neridu once again. Number 7 is King Roger. A couple of starts for King Roger in the season. First up in race number 4, finished on 5th. Race number 24, the one we are looking at was in 4th spot as they entered the home straight. Then started to back paddle, eventually finished on 7th of 9 runners. The winner here was Extra Wagon Star, who had almost 3 lengths to spare. Number 8 is Tess. Tess has had one start in the season in race number 14 and what a start that was. Got into a ding-dong battle with Saranaika. Eventually at the winning post got a little stronger, had about two lengths to spare and Tess today the mount of Akshay Kumar. Number 9 is War Trail. Started the season with a bang with a win in race number 8. We had about 4 lengths to spare on the second place sauce. Since, since then, has had a couple of starts where finished on 4th, including the start we are looking at, where it won, went on a start to finish mission. Had a good lead into the last 300 meters, but that's when it ran out of gas, eventually finished on 4th. And the winner here was Satyavur, who got the race by almost 6 lengths. Finally, number 10 is Trebia. Couple of starts for Trebia. First start finished on second to War Trail. Another runner in this race. And the start we are looking at is from race number 20, where Trebia was in fifth spot. Then started to really accelerate into the dying stages of the race and finished on fourth. Just missed out on the place money. The winner here was Cristaldo. That's the lineup for the day, ladies and gentlemen. Thank you for watching and see you at the races.